Hello everyone, let's make a stamina system in Unreal Engine 5. Let's get started. I will continue from the health system project we have done before. You can also start with a project from scratch, or you can easily include it in your own project. We will also use a component in this system. Let's create a blueprint class and select actor component from the list. Enter the character blueprint and add the component we created. Now create a function. We need a player reference. Let's create a variable named player ref from the character type as input. Let's promote to variable. Now let's go to the character blueprint and call the function we created in event begin play. Referencing in this way is a better way than using cast. We have a widget in event begin play. Let's connect the function with the sequence node. We need to access the function with the stamina component. Let's connect the self node to player ref. We need a few variables. Float type, run speed and walk speed. The walk speed value is 150 in the character movement settings, so we write 150 in the variable. Let's make the run speed value 400. Let's come to the initialize function. Let's assign the character's walk speed to our variable. We will create a few more variables related to stamina. Current stamina, maximum stamina, and minimum stamina. Let's make the maximum stamina variable editable. Minimum stamina will remain zero. We can give 100 values to the other two variables. Let's go to the event graph and create a custom event. If the current stamina is greater than the minimum stamina, the event will continue to run.
Let's access the character movement with the help of player ref and equalize the value of the max walk speed variable with the degree in the run speed variable. Then call the set timer by function name node. It asks us for a function name. Let's create a new custom event. Let's call it run timer. Let's write the name of the custom event to the timer in exactly the same way. Let's make the time value 0.1. Looping must be true. The event I created will run every 0.1 second. So stamina will decrease while running. We decrease the current stamina by 1. And we set the current stamina with the resulting value. But it should not decrease more than 0, we need to use the clamp node. Now we need to do a check. When current stamina becomes equal to minimum stamina, we need to stop running. Let's create another custom event. Let's call it stop run. Let's connect it after branch. We need to stop the timer in the stop run event. Function name should be exactly the same, run timer. Let's put the part where we set the max walk speed into a function. We will use it again. This time, let's bind the walk speed variable to the max walk speed value. Since the stamina is over, our character should start walking now. Let's define a new input from project settings. Usually, left shift is the run key. Let's call the run action event in the character blueprint. Let's connect the start run event in the stamina component to pressed and the stop run event to released. Let's test it. Let's print the current stamina value to the screen with print string.
Yes, we now have a value that decreases as we run. But when we press left shift key without moving, the stamina decreases. This is a problem. We need to add one more control. Immediately after the start run event, we will check whether the character is in motion or not. We need to add the same, same control to the run timer event. If false, let's run the stop run event. So if the character is not moving, let's stop running. Timer should stop. Now it's time to fill our stamina. Let's add a retriggerable delay at the end of the stop run event. Make it two seconds. Then we will do a check. Is the timer active or not? If true, we will not do anything. But if false, we need to run a new timer. Let's create another event for, for this timer. Let's call it fill stamina. Let's write the name of the event to the timer node exactly the same. I will keep the duration short. Looping must be true. Let's increase the current stamina by one and set it again. Of course, we must use clamp again. Otherwise, the number will increase forever. When the current stamina reaches the maximum stamina, let's stop the timer. Let's add the clear timer node here to the start run. When we start running again, the process of filling the stamina should stop. Let's do a test by adding a print string where we can see the stamina filling. Let's run until we reset the stamina and watch it fill up. 
Wait two seconds. Yes, it works as I want. Now let's finally show the stamina bar on the screen. I will use the widget I used in the health system video. Let's copy and paste the progress bar. I want to change the color so it looks different. Press bind and select create binding. Let's access BPC stamina from player reference. Divide current stamina by maximum stamina and bind the result to return node. Since the value of the progress bar is between 0 and 1, we need to do this division. It seems like it would be better to move the stamina bar down. It works as I wanted, I hope it was a useful video for you. Of course don't forget to change the stamina's decrease and recharge times according to your project. If you're finding value in these tutorials, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content. You can also ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.